morning y'all so i'm heading to the storage place again today i'm going to drop off some of my gear probably close to half of my gear and then i'm going to ninja flip 17 miles to kapa'a and get my uh bike rack rear rack and then i'm going to take a bath in the ocean i'm going to film that then i'm going to head back over to jamie's jamie is still in the hospital i'm about to give her a call right now um, and on my way back i'll probably go visit her um Big day, um, challenging day. I'm gonna try to do a lot of things I haven't done uh, since I've been here on the island with logistics. But um, I'm very, very excited. I met Jamie's mother today, she's in town. Um, let's play y'all, hopefully you're all doing well. Um, keep it raw, stay rad. All right, y'all, we made it. I'll tell you what, these hills, y'all, in South Kauai are pretty gnarly. I think I was going 28 miles an hour and I had probably about 50 pounds on that front rack. But uh, here's my storage unit, y'all. Boom, 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 boom. Check it out. 25 bucks. 25 bucks for a three by three. They've only got five of these. They've got two more left. So uh, this is where my stuff's gonna be. And uh, I'm gonna do a video on just cost so far on um, you know, just um, to stay in Kauai through post office, through storage, cell phone, all that stuff. But I'm gonna get my stuff in here and then I'm gonna head to Kapa'a and go get my rear bike rack. What, what? Check that out, y'all. Kauai food truck stop. Isn't that cool? So there's a whole bunch of trucks there, food trucks there, right on this corner. They're not open. I wouldn't be eating it now anyways. I literally am looking for some coconuts, avocados, and some fresh spring water. I now have to drive 18 miles. Ride, ninja flip, 18 miles, y'all. So, I'm so excited. I have a huge smile on my face. Let's rock and roll, baby. Of homeless. Well, homeless is a statement of absence, right? 
So, I prefer bushful living. What is it? Bushful living. Bushful living. Living fully in the bush. Right. My first four days, I lived under a bush. Yeah, right. right. Well, Got rained on a whole bit. Well, you know, the bush, right? That girl's got a nice book, right? <laughs> so you're living close to your mother's vagina, right? Mother Earth, right? So living fully in the bush, living close to your mother. <laughs> it kept me safe for those four days. Yeah, right. Well, you know, people live in fear, and fear is the mind killer, yeah? Mm hmm absolutely. In the movie Dune, right? I don't want to live in fear. Nah. I want free, per free personal program. sovereignty. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. What do you think, hey, hey? Give him a cockadoodle. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, what's up, y'all? Okay, so I've driven 18 miles from Jamie's house. Um, I picked up my rear rack, what, what, I'm about ready to put that on my bike, my rad bike. Um, I went to a really cool market, I got some B footage. I'm gonna put in Keep Going, Keep Growing uh, vlog. Make sure you go over to the Ridiculously Rothentic page. Make sure you like, subscribe on YouTube for the uh, Keep Going, Keep Growing vlog. Um, look what I got, look what I got. This is called a beautiful lady, I think her name, it was really close to Leona, like my grandmother is like Lilona. And this is, I already forget what it's called, but it's part of the lychee, the lychee family. And uh, I got about 10 for a dollar, and they're really, really good. You see that squirt me on my face? Look at this. See that? And they're, they're actually like a sweet and sour, and then there's a seed in the middle. Check it out. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It has its own unique taste, and they're really, really good. I'm trying to see what it tastes like, but it's it's almost like it has a little bit of um, a slight cantaloupe honeydew taste to it. But of course, they're a lot smaller. I also got this big thing, a fresh papaya and pineapple. And she cut this up right there for me. So this is fresh from the island. Check it out, papaya. Now, this is popping my cherry, y'all, because I haven't had, I've had, you know, we had a papaya tree at Lana's, and uh, I never I never really liked it all that much. I haven't found a papaya that I'm like, oh, that's so good. So this, look at this. First of all, let me slow down. Look at the colors behind me, y'all. See how crystal blue that is? Look how colorful that is, and it smells. So good. This is popping my chair because I know this is what a papaya has to taste like. This has to be the best pata papaya like on planet Earth, right? I mean, look at like that meaty consistency. This is like rainbow bright. <laughs> it had that, that, that not so good papaya taste in the beginning. And it gets way better at the end. Wow. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I like the hard texture. See that? See how it's got like that, that hard texture? That hard texture gives it. This is almost like meat. This is like fruit meat. You can get some coconut almond, coconut almond yogurt right and put some little chops of this maybe even just the chops of the hard piece the hard piece outs on the outside that's the next level you gave me a fork now i'm gonna try this pineapple this is the first pineapple 
that I've had in Kauai. Here we go. Look at that color, y'all. Look at the color behind me. Mm hmm. Look at this color. Yeah. I'm down to 147 pounds, y'all. And the air out here is unbelievable. It's like you're reborn. Here we go. <laughs> so good. All right, I gotta get going. I just wanted to uh, say hello, do this. Um, I'm gonna run into the library. Actually, I'm gonna put this rack on. I'm gonna go into the library, charge my battery. I just took a photo of what everything looks like. These next couple of days are really testing me with logistics. Logistics, Because I'm gonna commute over 60 miles today. After this, I'm going like 34 miles to the VA hospital to go see Jamie, y'all. And then I gotta ride back to her house too. So, all right, y'all. Love you very much. Hopefully you liked these videos. In the comment section below, let me know where you, where you want me to go, y'all. Because next week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, is when I head north and I really play. So, all right, y'all. Stay tuned. Love you. Bye. All right, y'all. Got the rear rack done. This is a huge part. Huge, huge part for logistics, y'all. I can carry like 145 pounds on that rear. And then I've also got this front rack. So we are almost cooking, y'all. Not cooking. We're keeping it raw. And we're staying red. Yeah. Y'all, check how close the library bathroom is to the beach. You can't get any better than that. So anyways, I'm going to drop a deuce deuce. I got three more items delivered. Um, some handlebar stuff, some stuff for the bike, and then I'm heading back to Jamie's house, 18 miles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to the hospital today. I'll definitely make it in the morning. Um, this might be the last video. We'll see. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the hospital. I underestimated the batteries. I'm only getting about 26 to 28 miles per battery, but I am doing a lot of incline. Um, I did see Jamie go live. And uh, I think she might be getting a C-section at six, but I'm not sure. But uh, I've got about eight more miles to Jamie's house, spend some time with her mom, wake up, and then I'm gonna go to the hospital first thing tomorrow morning. And then uh, head back to Kapa'a and play. My eyes are really dry. I'm gonna leave my address at the end of this video. Y'all send me some rad glasses, y'all. I need some eye protection. Dreams come true, y'all. Dreams come true. What, what?